Okay, just basically um, got the IC756 sitting here, which is not the subject matter for today. The subject matter for today, wait for it, is the IC2KL. And um, this is a very, very clean IC2KL. You can go to auto band switching on them, etc., etc. And uh, uh, the power supply I had, um, I've got another one I hadn't had time to uh, get sorted out, but we had a power supply, and my good mate Brendan had an amplifier. Now one of us had a power supply problem, one of us had an amplifier problem. So one of us gave in and we worked a deal, and now one of us has got a power supply and an amplifier. So we are pumping in around about 1212, 1, 12, just having a look at that, probably around about uh, 30 to 40 watts uh, from this fella here. And that is giving us a grand total of, let's have a little look here, 121212, one, two, hello 12, hello 12, one, two, hello 12. I'm looking on two meters here. Uh, that's giving us around about, actually, just my dummy load just went into protect then too, I just noticed that. Um, Oh, I know why. <laughs> I haven't got the fan on the dummy load. <laughs> yeah, good point. So basically, you'll get your um, 500 watts plus out of this amp every day. Uh, and as mentioned, we're going into a um, DL2K dummy load, which I think my lead has slipped off, to be honest, because as far as my power lead, because my fan just didn't turn on. So I'm just going to quickly hook up that fan because uh, we'll do a much better test if the fan's on the dummy load. You'll hear that little noise. On the side there well these just a bit of a word sorry it's not an mfj so it's a power star i'm half asleep today um this power star dummy load we use out here for just quick tests we've got some birds and other different ones but this one just kind of gets thrown into place and as long as it's got a fan running no it can take a little it, well it can take it's two kilowatts but not for very long 500 watts for a bit longer of course so basically let's have a look here testing one two one two whoops Testing one two one two, testing one two, and actually, my, both meters are pretty much the same on that five hundred watt scale. Hello, oh, yep, no, that's that's going well. So these are great little uh, pieces of kit. Um, they're not overly large, run off two forty volts, and as I was talking about, you can put it into auto position. Um, I've got all the leads. I just haven't uh, hooked them up. Uh, to be honest, they're under my dummy load. Righto, that's clever. Um, <laughs> so. Um, these are a great amp if you're just looking, you know, look, if you really want to know the truth, run them at um, 350 to 400 watts all day and you will not have a problem. Try and, ex you know, extend the ALC and go crazy on them. Um, you know, it's just a matter of time. Now, components for these are getting much, much harder to get, hence my, you know, little conversation piece of run it at three to 400 watts. And look, they'll do 400 watts all day. Um, now, if I just back the power down a little bit, one, two... Oh, hang on, I went straight to protect because I'm, there you go, see, well, that's, it's an intelligent amp. The reason it went into protect then is because I had it on auto being stupid. Right, so put in the 7 megs because we know we're on 40 metres. Try that again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, see, there you go, there's 400 watts. I've got about 20 watts going into that, 1, 2. And that 400 watts is driving beautifully off that um, uh, 756 Pro. This is an old one. I actually got this out of Jamie down in Tassie, and um, we've just been using it as a workshop clunker, but you know what? The more I spend, uh, well, time I spend using it as a workshop clunker, there's not a mark on it. You know, it's actually a great piece. And the screen is perfect on it, which, you know, if anyone knows um, 756 uh, series uh, monochrome screens, we've still got a couple of spare here, if, you know, and I've actually got, I think I've got another one or two of these in the box, um, the actual radios. Um, I haven't even checked the screens on those ones yet. But, you know, they're, they're, look, they're a great old radio. They're 0 to 30, 100 watts all day long. You know, just don't let the screen bugger up on you, and you'll be right. Anyway, so that's pretty much the the situation with the um, IC2KL. The power supply, there's not much to speak of. It's a 40-volt power supply that basically feeds um, the devices in this fella here. And that 40 volts is um, obviously then turned into, hello, watts, 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 and lots and lots of watts. And as we know, we all love lots of watts, you know. They're, um, they're a bit of fun when put through the right antenna. And you don't need a lot of those watts to get, you know, a bit of a difference. 400 watts can make a huge difference, actually. People keep thinking 1,000 watts is the only way to go, but the right antenna, you don't need humongous power, that's for sure. Um, 
We've been running a lot less power than people think lately, uh, just trialling things, seeing what can we get a signal through without going too crazy. And it has been surprising. Um, the 399 plus watts versus, say, 200 watts, there's a difference, but it's not as staggering as you think. And, you know, but the 100 watt to 200 watt, obviously, you know, the, um, it, it's got some reasonable gain. 200 to 400, a bit more gain again. Um, and But I just find that when you're starting to get into the US at 5.9 plus 15 dB, well, you know, you can run 2 kilowatts and be 5.9 plus 18 dB, or you can run back to 400 watts and be, you know, 5.9 plus 15 dB. It's really, you know, you're struggling to make that huge bit of difference at that point. I mean, I use some reasonably, you know, good gain antennas, but um, uh, so that, you know, it's not so significant, I suppose, um, at times, uh, mainly because of, you know, when you're starting to deal in that plus 10 dB, plus 15 dB, you know, the, the next level is sort of, um, you've got to do something awfully good. Um, but uh, anyway, and me on the subject of watts and F calls and full calls and everybody, oh my God, I've heard so much lately. Um, seriously, Facebook, guys, calm down. Um, on the air, calm down. It's, you know, look, I, I seriously believe if an F call is running 60 or 70 watts, I mean, who really cares? Honestly, I know, you know, I put a paper into the ACMA when the F call was first talked about and one of the things I said is that initially they were talking about four watts and I said that's going to be so hard to regulate um, and it's even going to be so hard for an amateur to, you know, try taking a TS-130S 100 watt transceiver and running it at four watts. I mean, I'm a pretty good tech, but what a bloody pain. I might as well just disconnect. I'll just come off the uh, pre-driver or something or the driver. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not easy. So, you know, when guys are getting accused of running, you know, more than 10 watts, I mean, look, if they're running kilowatts, uh, you know, maybe, but... Um, and, and even then I don't have a, a point of view on it. I don't care. Um, it's not my job. I'm not the ACMA. Um, you know, if someone wants to, you know, go that direction, well, hey, go that direction. But I'm telling you, you know, um, your big gains are sort of certainly from that 10 watts to 100 watts, 100 watts to 400 watts. You know, you'll, you'll notice, you know, substantial differences, which will be quite good. And the rest, well, sometimes you just don't need it. All right, well, that's my sermon on the mount as far as uh, F calls, full calls, I don't know one person who's absolutely doing the right thing, by the way, probably including myself. Uh, we've all had our moments. So, yeah, sometimes throwing stones is not a good idea. <laughs> all right, that's the um, IC2KL with its power supply. I've got the tuner somewhere, somewhere over this rack. Over, oh, yeah, yeah, there's a tuner over there and with another 2KL. And as you can see, nothing bloody changes in here. This is, well, it's got to be, but actually it has. It's got cleaner. Um, there's some clear space actually starting to happen now, which is good. All right. I um, hope you've enjoyed just seeing what the um, the Pro, uh, sorry, not the Pro, sorry, the 750, blah, IC756 can do, just pumping very small watts into the IC2KL solid state linear amplifier system. All the best, 73s from VK3 Charlie Mike.